This video will be covering how to establish an ORP, or Objective Rally Point. First off, what is an ORP? The Army's definition of an ORP is a point out of sight, sound, and small arms range of the objective area. The ORP serves as a staging area from which the platoon will set out to the objective to accomplish the mission. Generally, there are two ways to establish an ORP. There's a deliberate ORP and a hasty ORP. Deliberate ORPs are explained in detail in the Ranger Handbook, whereas hasty ORPs are typically based on SOPs. A deliberate ORP is established similar to a patrol base. The platoon will call a halt prior to reaching the tentative ORP location. Ranger Handbook says this halt is 200 to 400 meters in good visibility and 100 to 200 meters in limited visibility. The PSG will leave a gobble with the PSG and move forward with the leader's recon while the rest of the platoon conducts a security halt. The leader's recon will consist of the PL, RTO, Weasel, three ammo bearers, a team leader, a saw gunner, and a rifleman. Now that's what doctrine says. However, you probably won't have three ammo bearers because unlike the Ranger platoon that has three weapons teams, you'll only have two. Additionally, you may want to bring the assistant gunners instead of the ammo bearers so they can set up the tripods, but that's more of an SOP kind of thing. The leader's recon will then move to the site of the tentative ORP and clear the area. Once the area is cleared, the PL will establish the 10 and the 2 by emplacing an ammo bearer at both points. The PL will then emplace a saw gunner at the 6 o'clock position. The PL will leave a gotwa with the weasel, who will remain at the tentative ORP as the remainder of the leader's recon will return to grab the platoon. The lead squad will then be the first to occupy the 10 and the 2, by the, while the trail and center squads occupy the 2 and the 6 and the 6 and the 10 with the HQ elements in the center. Now, as I said earlier, hasty ORPs are typically based on SOPs, and they won't really have any objectively correct way to be done, except that they generally occupy the ORP area by force instead of waiting for a recon to be done. That being said, I'll go over the way that I was initially taught to establish a hasty ORP in ROTC. While moving, the platoon arrives at the tentative ORP location, and the lead alpha team leader calls a halt. The PL goes to the front and calls for the ORP. The Alpha Team Leader will then stay in place to identify the 12 o'clock position where the Gun Team 1 will set up. The Lead Bravo Team Leader stays in place to identify the 6 o'clock where Gun Team 2 will set up. The two trail squads will then occupy the 6 and the 12 by way of the 3 and the 6 and the 12 by way of the 9. The Lead Squad will converge around the center where HQ will be in the middle. And this all happens simultaneously following the signal for ORP. Just a reminder, this is a way to do a hasty ORP. This is not the way to do a hasty ORP. And you may be wondering, when should you use a deliberate versus a hasty ORP? Well, it ultimately comes down to METTC, but the answer will almost always be a hasty ORP in Cadetland. Establishing a deliberate ORP will provide more security than a hasty ORP, but will almost always take about 30 to 90 minutes to establish. Missions for FTXs in camp may run about one and a half to two hours. Setting up a deliberate ORP would therefore eat up a substantial amount of that time. Whereas the hasty ORP method that I mentioned earlier can be done in less than a minute if it's rehearsed. Before I conclude, some important things to remember. It's an expectation that cadets know how to conduct a deliberate ORP but may have very different SOPs regarding a hasty ORP. So it's important that you have some form of rehearsal so that everyone is on the same page before you as a PL try to get everyone to do it your way. Typically, the best way to do it is the way that everyone agrees on. Just because it's different from what you're used to does not mean that it's wrong. And remember, you're all in it together.